The MacBook Air always ends up being Apple's cheapest laptop. Well, today we've got the M2 MacBook Air and we've got some cheap accessories to see if we can kit this out without breaking the bank. And while we're finding out, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. Okay, so I've got a whole bunch of accessories here that I purchased on Amazon. Now, what these are is like a full kit for the M2 MacBook Air. So we've got all sorts of things. I cannot wait to start checking these out. So let's start with what we've got on top. Today we've got a charger from Anker. It's fast charging. Now, what I picked here was I picked a fast charger that had more than one spot for charging because Apple themselves came out with their charger with two USB-C ports. And I really wanted to see like, what could you get without going with Apple? So this is the Anker 521 Nano Pro uh, with the US adapter. This is a, if I believe correctly, 40 watts max per port. So the charger that comes with the MacBook Air is 35 watts. This is 40 through one port. If you start charging with two ports, you drop that down, I believe it's about 30 per or 20 per after that. But this looks like it's gonna be an incredible addition. If you do wanna charge your MacBook, I really wanted to save some money on this and show that you could still get this or you could spend what, like 60 bucks for Apple's version? No, thank you, Apple. Okay, next up, we are gonna need to set this up with a stand, right? I don't care if you're using this at the house, if you're using this on the go, sitting hunched over a laptop of any stripe is not good for your ergonomics at all. So we got a cheap little tiny stand. Look how cute that thing is. Holy crap, that is the most adorable stand I think I've ever seen in my time here on the channel. It is made of plastic, it's super lightweight. The grips here on the bottom are not the best. If you were gonna buy this, I would probably add some of my own grip on here if you wanted to make sure that it, I mean, look at that. It doesn't even stop on the table, but it seems pretty nice. It does have some grips here for the laptop. You pop it out, set it up, check that out. Oh, that's so much better. Like, trust me, as somebody that's been working from home for a very long time, if you're gonna use a laptop by itself at the bare minimum, you need some kind of a stand like this because you can already see it's lifted the laptop up. It's got the screen more in line with an ergonomic position so I'm not staring down at it. It's right in line with me, looks great. Build quality, eh, probably, you probably wouldn't want to throw this thing around or beat it up too much. But if you're just gonna throw this in a bag and then work from wherever, I think this would be an amazing little stand. I'm actually excited to try this one out some more as we start traveling more for work. Normally when you buy a stand, it's like a big heavy piece of metal. And if you're gonna be rough on it, yes, you should get a big metal stand. Okay, next, we have it in a stand. We're gonna need some, we can't reach, if we have it in a stand, we can't reach the trackpad, right? So I bought a cheap wireless mouse so we could continue working and use the stand at the same time because I don't wanna destroy my back. Okay, it's smart and wireless. Well, I'm hooray for that. I'm glad it's not like dumb and wireless. It's got 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Bluetooth 5.1, Bluetooth 3.0, so it's got a little dongle right here. Ooh, and check this out, the little dongle, that's really smart. So it's got a dongle. Did it come with another? Nope, okay. All right, I'm not as excited. What I was hoping for is that this little adapter right here would be the Bluetooth dongle, but it's not. But it is nice to see that if you wanted to use this on a USB-C laptop like the MacBook Air, it comes with a USB-C to USB-A adapter. So all you have to do, plug these together, then you can plug it into your computer. The mouse itself, that feels pretty good for a cheap Bluetooth mouse I found on Amazon. You can see here, you can pick between Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. The click sounds pretty good. It fits in the hand fairly well. The scroll wheel feels good. Looks like it has a single, uh, a single additional click. It's not like the Magic Mouse where it's charged from the bottom. It's charged here from the top, but it is micro USB. That's pretty rough. I would probably save up and spend the extra money to get a USB-C or some other style of mouse. The build quality, it doesn't, I've felt worse mice than this, so I don't actually hate this mouse. Check out that eagle, does it work? Can we get this thing to work? Hopefully it's charged. Okay, we got the screen, we plug it in. There we go, hey, and it works. Check that out. You'll have to turn the sensitivity down. Wow, this sensitivity of this mouse is, pretty aggressive right out of the box, but hey, it works through the little dongle thing here. Can we find it on Bluetooth if we wanted to use Bluetooth? And there, you can see the mouse right there. So hey, works perfectly fine. I am fairly impressed with this thing for the cheap amount that it costs. Okay, what do we have next? Next, we have a hub. Now, one of the downsides of going with a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro 13 as opposed to the 14 or 16, you are gonna need a dongle. Like this, in this life, 
you will need a dongle for this kind of a computer because all you've got is USB-C. And if you need anything else, HDMI, USB-A, Ethernet, you're not gonna get that on the body. So unfortunately for this kind of a computer, you are gonna need a dongle. And I bought this, the USB-C hub. This one has HDMI, two USB-A and SD card slot. I think if, if you were gonna need certain extra ports that you will not find elsewhere and are a deal breaker, this would be roughly what I would get. But be careful when you buy, especially if you're gonna buy a cheapo dongle, read the description before you buy anyone and make sure it is compatible with your computer. We had a problem two years ago for the M1 MacBook Air where I did buy a cheapest dongle and it worked at the time, but then after I made the video, they updated the description to say, hey, it doesn't work with M1 MacBook Air, so just be careful before you buy something like this. You are gonna need a dongle. You don't need to spend a bunch of money on it, but just make sure the one you buy actually works. Thanks to today's sponsor, Squarespace, you can create your own very beautiful website. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a professional website, online store, or portfolio. It's it's easy to claim a domain slash URL, create a custom site that matches your style, and bring your ideas to life. Head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, head over to squarespace.com slash everydaydad to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. We also have, so one of the things that I did want to buy for this, and this is not the cheapest, at the base model this comes with 256 gigabytes of storage, that's not a lot. That is not a lot, especially if you're going to try to, you know, work from home or you're trying to work anywhere. That's not a lot of storage. So I would recommend getting some kind of external storage and this time to try to keep the price down instead of buying a solid state drive because that's what I normally recommend uh, in these videos. I thought let's save a bunch of money and get a thumb drive because we're just, all we're doing here is we're doubling the size of our internal storage. So this is a SanDisk 256 gigabyte thumb drive. You could even use it with our little dongle adapter here. No name, check it out right there. Works perfectly through the dongle adapter that we already got. Okay, we will, let's check out this. I, all of these things, if you're gonna be working, if you're gonna be traveling for work, uh, you gotta fit it somewhere. If you put all this stuff in a bag, it's just gonna make a mess. I like having cheap little tech bags. What you're really looking for when you're buying bags like this, you're looking at the stitching and you're looking at the zippers. That's where they cheap out when you buy a bag like this. Uh, the stitching here, doesn't look the best. It's definitely not double stitched because you're not gonna get double stitched at this kind of a price point, but I don't see any like major issues. It's got some foam built into it, so it'll protect not only your accessories, but it'll protect your laptop if it's in a bag. So like a sharp edge of your adapter isn't gonna cause a big gouge in your laptop if they're both flopping around in your bag. This feels pretty good. It's made of a nice nylon fabric. It doesn't have waterproof seams here at the zipper, but it does have like a water resistant seam, which is nice. The zipper, I am kind of a zipper snob. It's not, I mean, it's just the cheapest zipper they could probably find. It's not YKK or anything fancy like that, but I like these little tech bags. You really need something to keep all of this stuff together. It is a fingerprint attractor. So one of the ways that you can get around that and making sure that you don't have scratches or anything on your finish is you can buy a little sleeve and keep it in there to protect it. So this is from Mosito, Mosito. And you can see, see here's a stitching problem. Like right that, that is a stitching problem. Kind of suspect about the sewing job of this sleeve, but the sleeve doesn't need to stand up to any big rigorous testing or anything like that. It just needs to be a place for your laptop to easily sit in. It's got a nice fluffy, comfortable inside. It's got a little outside pocket right here. The zipper sound good enough. Does the MacBook Air fit in here? Boom, the MacBook Air fits in there perfectly. And there you go, you are now ready to hold your laptop when you need to travel around and you don't have to worry about needing to clean it off all the time. However, if you do find yourself needing to clean it off, I also would recommend getting a microfiber cloth as part of your MacBook Air kit, especially if you are gonna get the midnight version. This color looks so good, but especially I have oily skin and it definitely, definitely, definitely leaves a mark. So you gotta have a case that you don't touch as much and you need a microfiber cloth so you can clean it off when you do have to. Okay, in here, we had the mouse. Now let's check out a keyboard. This is a mono price keyboard that there was one left on Amazon when I was able to order this. So it's just a very simple wired keyboard. It's not mechanical. I am kind of a mechanical keyboard snob, but this is just something cheap and easy so you can set it up at your 
home office. They feel good. They've got like a nice bounce to them as you're typing. So it is a Windows style keyboard, but I use a Windows style keyboard with my Macs anyway. I just treat the Windows key like the command key and it works out perfectly fine for me. This has the full suite. So you've got a full number pad and keys and all the function keys. So you will be able to use your Mac however and whenever you want. It's super lightweight. It's got little rubber feet here on the bottom. Pretty good stuff. Okay, we got a couple more things to cover. One of the things that I like at the house is having a desk pad. Now you can buy all sorts of desk pads with all sorts of designs and stuff on them. This is just a very simple one that I was able to find. It's a faux kind of leather material. Can you see that? It's not the biggest, there are biggest ones, but I was looking for the cheapest versions of accessories here. I like this because when I have a keyboard or I have a mouse on my desk, it makes it much nicer for their operation. It just makes your mouse last longer because you're not rubbing like this on your desk. It keep, makes your desk last longer because you're not constantly rubbing your mouse on the desk. It just makes everything better. Desk pads are the best. And this one, it's just a cheapo. You could fit it in your bag at any given time. It's reversible. So you could either have a nice green or a nice blue. They look really similar though. I personally would go for a bigger one than this. Um, normally I have a leather desk pad uh, from a company called Galloway Leather that takes up like my whole desk. And I like it, it's been a favorite of mine. I've recommended it here for years on the channel. But for this one, if you're just looking for cheap, I think this is a good way to do it. Look at this, we got the mouse, we got the keyboard, we got the stand. I think combined, you got just enough space here. You might need to move your keyboard off of here a little bit, but I think this feels great. But we need to carry this stuff all around, right? We have the tech bag, but you can't put the laptop in the tech bag. So today we're trying out a brand new backpack. I've been recommending the same backpack here for years and folks have asked me to go look for other stuff. So here is the Amazon Basics laptop bag. This was the only color this version came in, which was maroon. I was kind of hoping for something maybe like gray. I like a gray bag or a more subdued color. Maroon's not really my style, but hey, sometimes when you're working within a budget, you don't necessarily get to dictate everything within that budget. So it's got relatively comfortable feeling straps here. It's got a nice little air channel here. So if you are walking long distances, Hopefully it'll keep your back cool and you won't get too sweaty on your back. It's got a stretchable pocket here for a water bottle. What does it look like on the inside? The zippers? Those are actually, those sound pretty darn good. Those might be the best sounding zippers we've seen so far today. The internals, stitching looks okay. I mean, it's Amazon Basics. It's not earth shattering quality, but it's got something that I do like is, can you see this? Normally when you get a laptop bag, it has like, I don't know, its own little section or something in here, but this has like foam and then it's got an actual foam sleeve for your laptop. So it's almost like a little bit of a sleeve that we already had, but built into the backpack itself. And I do like that. And the MacBook Air fits perfectly in there. It also has like a nice felt interior, so it won't damage your laptop too bad. Plenty of extra space in here and it, it goes a little bit farther down here than where the laptop goes. So you could fit a ton of stuff in this thing. I really kind of like this. One of the good things, one of my biggest recommendations when you buy a laptop or a camera bag is you don't want to buy, and I'm sorry, expensive bag manufacturers out there, but when you carry around an expensive bag from an expensive knowing, like you know it's an expensive brand, that means you've got expensive stuff inside of there and that just makes you a target. I like having boring old cheap looking backpacks. I think this one looks pretty good. I don't see any major stitching issues. The zippers sounded good. I think I would recommend this Amazon Basics uh, laptop bag. But what about you? What are some of your favorite cheap accessories for the M2 MacBook Air or any MacBook? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit subscribe and then click here to see my bigger, more professional accessory recommendations for the M2 MacBook Air. Click, 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 click. <laughs> Thanks for watching.